Hello. Hello. And we're back. Ooh, it do be. The Russell Recap. Oh, oh Russell Recap. Yeah. We did. I mean, that was a season. It was a season. It was a season. It was a a sequence of episodes that they frequently call seasons. Yep. Yep. And here we are. We are here. We're alive, much like much deceased sisters, Mm. and um, not Max. So here we are. Spoilers! (laughs) (laughs) If you're here and you haven't seen the whole season, that's your problem. Sorry about it's it. It's even on Netflix now. Exactly. How awesome is that? That was so great. Yes. The week after, like, mm-hmm. boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all, haven't seen this on CW? Check it out on Netflix. Yep. Yep. If you don't know that, all on Netflix. Exactly. Every episode. Yeah, so awesome. hopefully we'll uh, build up that fan base yes. and we'll uh, get some really good momentum for season two. Mm-hmm. So that's exciting. So today, for a little fun, a little recappy, we are going to do our top three favorite episodes mm. from season one of Roswell, New Mexico. So. As one does. Yes. And then just to give a little like, eh, what do we think? Yeah. You know? Did we? Overall. Yeah. How are we feeling? Overall thoughts. What are we thinking? Yeah. Hmm. So, let's get started. Okay. Okay. So, let's get started mm-hmm. um, with, we had some trouble deciding because we have some ones that we both like, but then, you know, there are others I like more than Kaylee. A lot of the ones where Malix was involved kind of affected her decision here. <laughs> so, we're going to start with our first pick, which is the pilot episode. Which we both agree was such a solid start. Yes. Was such It really set the tone yes. for the whole show, mm-hmm. um, which is so important. Yeah, if it, it gave me that... Oh, this feels like Roswell, but it also gave me, this is new. This is a little different. They're older, and they've got some new twisty things here. But still, again, adhering to that original nostalgia that we all love about the original. Yeah, so. it definitely hooked you in in a really great way. Mm-hmm. It made us care throughout, really, the whole season. Like, even though it was kind of dips and valleys and such in terms of, not enjoyment, but... And just kind of like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But there's that that mystery they set yes. really yes. in that in that first mm-hmm. episode mm-hmm. of of Rosa and everything. Mm-hmm. Like it that was really, new. Like Rosa, who's Rosa? Liz has right. a sister. Right. What? Right. And like we didn't know that she was killed by an alien in episode one. That was two, right. I think. But right. it was still like she has a sister. She was killed, and and I feel like you knew then that there was more to it. Yes. Than yes. what they kind of alluded to in the episode. And it was inferred so. that Max knew about it. Yes. So that was another interesting kind of twist, like, goody two-shoes Max Evans? Mm-hmm. What? He can't yes. be the bad guy, or can he? Ooh, I was definitely do, 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 left, do, do, do. left with, like, Yeah. Oh. Just the mysteries that were instilled in episode one really carried through yes. the whole season. Yep. And really, you wanted to know what happened. Mm-hmm. And... That's, that's what you need. You need people to care and people to want to know, yes. regardless of yes. how even the rest of the season went. And we got our introduction to Malik. Of course. That kiss, though. Oh. I mean, all of our little things, especially like looking Ooh. back, I, I know in the recap, I remember talking about the first scene we see of them at Michael's trailer, that there's mm-hmm. like, it was weird, but like you did, it had so many like undertones yes. that we didn't even know yes. when we were watching it. Yeah. But then obviously as the episode went on, the undertones became very apparent and then they were overtones. Oh my God, Michael went for it and we were <sighs> like, whoa, what? I'm still Hold sweating. the front door. Oh, it was. Alex Mains, Michael Guerin. Yes. Whoa. Yes. And, and I we mean. We weren't expecting that, but ooh. It again. It set the tone. It, it, did. it we did. cared about what's going to happen with this relationship. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. it really made it. And for me, more so than Max and Liz at that point. Totally. Oh, like, totally. Like that was yes. 
I cared way more about that. Yes, and I agree. Kept us watching. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, it was just it was just really solid and Got fun, but it also in. you know had like the whole like the dancing with like the Liz and Maria dancing uh-huh, like that uh-huh. was really sweet. like it had like really sweet moments. It had Liz moments. dancing at the jukebox and yes. her little apron outfit yes. and being all cute. It just did a really yeah. really nice job of kind of giving that overview of what the whole season would be like. Yes. So, our first pick, pilot episode. Agreed. So, tell us your pick, number two, for Rosalind New Mexico. My other favorite episode has to be Smells Like Teen Spirit, Mm -hmm. the flashback Mm -hmm. episode. Mm -hmm. Um, Most, for one, I have a super soft spot for flashback episodes in general. I just think they're so fun, yeah. especially for a show like this that is so drama. Yes. It's just nice to kind of have, yes, it was a very drama, emotional episode. Yeah, totally. But there's that, there's still that, the ease of being younger. There's that, yeah. the playfulness, like there's just a different, each character felt younger. Yes. Felt yeah. less heavy so with cute. adulthood. Oh, yeah. Same like, like little goth punk, little Alex. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, yeah, that. 100%. Um, and our, one of the best scenes in the entire season to me is when um, Alex's dad finds them. Yes. I mean, oh my god. Again, talking about something that was set up in episode one. Like, they yeah. talk, you know, he like has like a thing where he like does a weird thing with his hand. Mm-hmm. We didn't really know what it was about. Yep. And he never talks about it. Right. You know, we never find it. And so that scene to find out that that's what happened are to me the most shocking thing of the season. Yeah. Like, oh, for sure. Hands down. I was not seeing that. Yeah. And <laughs> At all. the sheer violence of it. Yeah. Like, and it just, it, it just cut you so deep and it, it really gave an insight, not just into Michael, but just into their relationship of the things that sure. they went through, the things that yeah. they saw with each other. Well, and, 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 and just like Alex in general, just like his family situation. Like yeah. we knew that his dad was a complete dick, but we didn't know it was that bad. Right. Well, if he did that to a stranger, right. what did he do to his own kids? Exactly. Right. Oh yeah, it was it was rough, but in like a great way. Yeah. Like it was just yeah. that scene. Like I can still see in my head like that shot from like down below, and you see Michael's face going ah, and they've been like you can literally I can see that so vividly. Yeah. Like it was so yeah. so yeah. A lot of the reason that it is one of my favorite episodes is just it stuck with me. It really like a lot of the stuff, and it really stuck with me throughout this whole season. And seeing kind of how the relationship all went about. There was another the thing with the museum boy. Maria had yeah. talked about it, yeah. and we like assumed, but actually seeing it be yeah. Michael, like it was just it was adorable, yeah. and it was a, like yeah. So seeing like the beginning of their relationship, and conversely, seeing Max and Liz in that episode because episode one I was kind of like eh on Max and Liz like yeah I know I'm yeah, supposed to feel about same. it but yep. I just didn't and going through the episodes I still wasn't really feeling it and I didn't really start feeling it until that episode right just kind of seeing them being again easy breezy beautiful cover girl just yes. hanging out vulnerable and, like yes. they're young yes. innocent still carefree haven't really gone through life you know it's just kind of their new little babies and so yes this is like a very like new optimistic Liz that we haven't seen because yeah. obviously this was when she was young and she yeah. had dreams and she still had a sister and yeah. you know all of this stuff and so it was cute seeing and then, that. And then they like dance or something like they were like out in the desert and they like danced or something. There's something. It was something cute they did out in the desert. Um, but yeah so that was important for me just because that was really the first time I felt it and I kind of yeah. like oh okay I'm kind of getting, getting it. it now. I'm yeah. getting it. Um, but yeah, it was just, oh, the other, the really big thing, um, there's other episodes that did it better, but the flashback episode was better about having less things going on. Yes. Yes. Um, because a lot of our issues with some of these episodes is that there's so many subplots. Yes. It's so bogged down by this person and this person, So you can't breathe. Yes. And now this one did do it, uh, as well, because, you know, the Malik thing, that's kind of a side thing, but it there were less things mm-hmm. than some it of the other episodes. It was a little bit more focused. Yes. <laughs> Whereas it other episodes focused. is like, whoa, yeah. like all over the place. Exactly. So that way we were able to really get into the characters yes. and get into the plot mm-hmm. without it being confusing or all over the place and just trying to wrap our head around 
what did we just watch? Right. So I appreciate that a lot as well. Then number three. Yes, number three on our list, I choose songs about Texas. Ooh. Yes, so I chose songs about Texas. I This was the episode that Sherry Appleby directed, the original Liz. Very so, cute. Super cute. Love anyway, that. like even if it was if it was gonna be a terrible episode, I'd still be like, you go girl, love you. Yeah. Um, but she what I really loved about this episode was it kind of she did a great job in taking me back and kind of feeling like the old school Roswell in the sense of like we're being investigative and we're bringing in the Native Americans and um, we're bringing the group together where it's like yeah. a group <laughs> effort, you know, right, investigating. Right, so kind of secret little pockets of people. Mm -hmm. Where in, in this episode they like started separate and then they all kind of came together and so that was really fun. We got to know Maria a little bit more in this episode, which I really loved. She was sexy as hell in this totally. episode. Oh, it was great. So, and there were just a lot of really cute moments that they wrote in between Max, er, Max and Liz, and yeah. we had that scene. Unfortunately, Haley's not happy about it between Michael and Maria, but it was Which started it all. I know, tumbling just, down. Just all started it, but just very pivotal, like with where yeah. the, the direction that they're going with the story and everything. Like it was a very pivotal moment. Um, it's, and the thing is, like, I wish they didn't make this into a relationship kind of a thing, because, like, if they wouldn't have, that would just been a really fun scene, in a way, where it was just, like, we just did this because, like, yeah. we were flirting and kind of drunk and stuff, and right. it's like, never again, bitch. Right. Like, well, especially once she found out, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It, this, this one, I was upset, but I mm -hmm. was okay because she didn't know... And Michael, Michael was still kind of being an ass, but but it was also Alex was like, I don't want to have anything to do with you, right? At this point, exactly. So. so it kind of was like I was okay with it, and especially because Maria's like it's a one-time thing, yes. whatever. So at this point, I was at least like, okay, like I get it. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just later that it became a problem, mm -mm -mm -mm. but. We already talked about that. We have. Um, we got some karaoke in this episode. Yes, that was so uh, great. So I mean, cute. it was so definitely cute. the best Maria episode. It was. We had so many good moments. Maria thing. DeLuca uh, saves herself yes, or whatever. Like, yes, like that's so the thing. Good. We didn't get a lot of Maria, which was yeah. really disappointing because Maria is one of my favorite characters from the original series. And so this one, that's another reason why I loved it so much is yeah, like we got to spend time with Maria. Like we got to know her and got to know her as a friend to live. Yes. Um, and with Max. Like, she had some great moments with Max sure. in this episode. And, yeah, this is when we started seeing Liz bonding with Michael and, like, that kind of yeah. dynamic. So it was... Alliances it was, being formed. Friendships being built. Being formed. So it was a very beautiful episode. And we got some kiss it, kiss it Ooh, in this true. episode. True. Ooh, and oh, it was dear. good. It and was they finally. didn't do the whole, like, oh, there's only one bed. Where yeah. we thought they were right, going to. Right, right. No, they did. So, they totally did that. They, they played that. And yes. Were like, oh, they but, yeah. almost did, but then they figured it out. Yep. They did. And they had their desert kiss. Uh, yeah. So that was my pick. I thought it was a great episode.